When I was a kid, and this is around the mid 80s, I always wanted a robot. It was like a dream of mine. And right now, I see one that looks exactly what I had always dreamed about. Now, to find out more information about this, I got Morgan from IEEE. Morgan, what is this? Well, this is a robot. It's a full-size humanoid robot. I figured that much. Yeah. Um, it's called the Robo Sapien. I love the name. It's so beautiful. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, Robo Thespian was made originally to be an actor. We made him so we could move fluidly, look cool to people. You know, you, we want him to be entertaining. So what he does is he'll act out scenes from movies. He'll tell you about the IEEE, or he'll tell you about himself, how he works, what he does. He's just giving you some information. It's so amazing just like how like human all the interactions are, right down to the fingers. You know, it looks like it has like a little bit of knees. What, what is powering this right now? Uh, that's a good question. This is powered by both DC servo motors, which most robots are powered by, but also these have what we call air muscles, which are tubes of rubber that you fill with compressed air, and they compress just like a human muscle. And that means he can move more like a human, look more fluid than you would any other humanoid robot you see in the world. And I understand he can also talk as well. He can also talk, yeah. See, Hello. we can... Hey, how's it exactly. going? Exactly, <laughs> he's already talking. We can make him say anything you want. And what's Just more, we can say it in any language you want as well. So, let's, let's talk a little bit about that. How is it, is it running off the computer? Because I see a laptop in the background there. Is that really what's controlling this uh, robot? Actually, no, he has a computer in the back. So he can actually do things by himself. You can control him via another computer, which is happening behind me, um, but that computer doesn't have to be there. That can be anywhere in the world, connected via the internet to this robot. So, Morgan, is this like a, a prototype, or can we like possibly maybe see some consumer version? This is like I said, this is like a dream of mine when I was a kid. Well, this is not a prototype. We've sold about 50 of these robots. You're kidding. No, 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 these are a commercial product. You can buy these from about $80,000. Oh, that's it? <laughs> you can buy one. And <laughs> this is so cool. I absolutely love this. Um, I even heard it singing just a, a little while ago. It can pretty much do anything. Yes, it can do anything you want. You can, can, it, can it cook, though? Uh, we can't cook. No, I'm afraid it can't pick anything up or do any housework. So, unfortunately, you're going to have to do that. That is so cool. The Robot Sapien, one of the coolest things. You know, when I was a kid, I used to dream about this. And here it is. I'd like to say flesh and blood, but it's more like microchips and processors. Morgan, I want to thank you a lot. Where can people find more information about the Robot Sapien? Well, if you go to www.robothespian.co.uk, you can find all the information there. Who knows? Maybe I'll get connected. We'll have a robot host one day. Until then, you're going to have to deal with me. Go to our website, getconnectedmedia.com, to find the latest in tech information, gadgets, gizmos, and maybe even robots. Goodbye.